Select fixtures to activate the parameter group LCD buttons. Once selected, the LCD buttons will display the available parameter groups. There are seven available parameter groups and five LCD buttons. You can page through the additional parameter groups using the wheel below the LCD buttons. Not all fixture types will have parameters in all parameter groups. Pressing an LCD button will make that parameter group active on the encoders. Parameters can have multiple pages. Multiple pages are indicated by the small circles in the fixture parameter window. The active page will be a filled white circle and the additional pages will be empty white circles. Pressing the LCD button cycles through the available pages. Pressing an encoder down once will make the corresponding parameter selected for effects, fanning, etc. without changing the value. The selected parameter will be indicated by a blue light below the encoder and an orange border in the fixture parameter window. There are a number of options available in the parameter window. The first option is range lock. Some fixture parameters such as shutter, gobo, gobo rotation, and so on can have their value ranges broken into subranges. Range lock would stop you from manually scrolling out of a subrange. For example, the shutter parameter of most fixtures has multiple types of strobe available, like unison strobe, random strobe, opening pulse, and more. With range lock on, you select a strobe type and use the encoder to scroll through the speed. You cannot scroll out of that strobe type range. To move to another type of strobe, you would either touch it in the window or turn off range lock and scroll using the encoder. The next button is the percent digital button. It allows you to view your values as percentage or digital. Touching the button cycles through the options. The next button is the relative absolute button. It allows you to control values either relative to each other or in an absolute mode causing all fixtures to jump to the same parameter value. For example, if we have the intensity value of a selection of fixtures fanned between 50 and 80 percent and relative selected, scrolling the encoder up 10 percent would move our range to 60 to 90 percent. Selecting absolute and scrolling the encoder would cause all fixture intensity to jump to the middle of the range and adjust in unison. The next button allows you to set the encoder sensitivity. The sensitivity can be set from 8-bit to 16-bit or dynamic. 8 to 16-bit is coarse to fine control. Dynamic makes the sensitivity dependent on your scroll speed. Scroll slowly for fine control or rapidly for coarse control. The next button is pan and tilt combo on or off. It's relevant to effects and will be covered in the effects video series.